We got your attention. Let the game begin. Distraction News with your anchor person, Dora Smarmy. Good evening, I'm Dora Smarmy and welcome to Distraction News, where we give you the news and at the end of our newscast, I'll ask you five questions about what I've reported. So pay close attention and try not to get distracted. This just in, tornadoes! A tornado is a dark funnel-shaped cloud containing violently rotating air that can develop within a heavy thunderstorm cloud and extends to the Earth. In fact, that's what its name means, tornado, from the Spanish word tronado, meaning thunderstorm. Although tornadoes form all over the world, the United States gets hit more frequently and stronger. The average speed a tornado can move across land is 30 to 40 miles per hour, but has been clocked as fast as 70 miles per hour. And its rotational speed can get up to more than 300 miles per hour. When tornadoes form over water, they are called water spouts. They last longer than tornadoes, but they aren't as strong. Tornadoes can be over a mile wide or really skinny. Sometimes they can even be invisible. Uh-oh. I'd better hang on to my wig. Hmm, now let's see how well you were able to remember the facts. And be sure to count how many you get right. A tornado occurs when violent air mixes with what? A snow blizzard, a bad attitude, or a thunderstorm? The answer is a thunderstorm. What is the Spanish word for thunderstorm? Sky burrito, tronada, or el niño? The answer is tronada. What country gets hit more by tornadoes? Brazil, New Mexico, or the United States? The answer is the United States. How fast can a tornado rotate? 30 miles per hour, over 300 miles per hour, or the legal speed limit? The answer is more than 300 miles per hour. Tornadoes that form over water are called real drips, water spouts, or mermaid storms. The answer is water spouts. So, how did you score? Did I blow you away? I hope not, because I have to have someone to talk to out there. Well, goodbye. And remember, don't let anything distract you from watching Distraction News. This has been Distraction News with your favorite cardboard cutout anchor person, Dora Smarmy. Sketch here to lay something heavy on you. Just cause you got eyes doesn't mean you always see. You got to get the whole picture before you really know what's going down. Don't believe me? Well, I'm gonna show you some pages from my sketch pad, but not every page. See if you can tell what's happening before I show you the missing pages. You dig? Picture this, 
A man walks into a diner and asks a waitress for a glass of water. The waitress reaches behind the counter and pulls out a scary mask instead. But then, the man says thank you and walks back out the diner. Crazy man. Are you hip to the scene? Can you figure out what really went down before I lay the missing pages of my sketch pad on you? Remember, you can look, but you don't always see. Check it out. You might think this daddy will thank the waitress because she made him laugh, but it ain't that. You may be thinking that it was Halloween and the cat needed to go home and get his mask. But it ain't that. Or maybe you think that the kitten behind the counter was crazy. But it ain't that. Truth is, she was only trying to help. So you gotta ask yourself, when is getting frightened even better than a glass of water? Are you seeing it now? When you've got the hiccups. Can you dig? She scared the cat and the hiccups went away. Now the whole crazy scene makes sense. Like I've been telling you, when you really use your eyes, you're gonna draw the right conclusion. Instead of numbers, you see pictures, and you have to figure out what number they stand for. Then, you just do the math. You cool? Then we better get started, because I can already feel the pressure building up in my brain. Follow me here. Take the minutes in an hour. Add that to all your fingers and toes. And don't you go counting them. Divided by the days it rained on Noah and his ark. Come on, you all remember Noah, don't you? The soaked old dude with all those animals and their best buds. And all those rainy days and nights. Got it? I could explain to you how it all worked out, but I won't. Because maybe you should already have the answer. But if you don't, what you do is this. Take the 60 minutes and an hour, add it to your 20 fingers and toes, <clears throat> I hope. Then you divide by the 40 days it rained on Noah. And the explosive answer is two. Two. You want to try another one? Pay Professor Rocket close attention. First, take the unluckiest number that falls on a Friday. Then, add it to the number of nostrils in your nose. And don't go looking in a mirror. Now, you subtract the innings in a normal Yankees baseball game. Equals what? I'm waiting very patiently. OK, here you go. You take the unlucky number 13. You add to the two nostrils in your nose. I hope. And subtract the nine innings of a baseball game. And the answer is six. Six. Of course. If you have only one nostril, I would accept five. Okay, one more. You take Christmas Day. Now you subtract the musketeers. Not the candy bar, man. The awful one one for all dudes. Minus America's Great Lakes. What you get? 
Don't rush. I'll give you plenty of time. Time's up! You got Christmas on the 25th. And if you subtract three musketeers and subtract the five Great Lakes, you can only end up with 17! 17! Which would also be a fine-looking number. Okay, that's out today. My brain's getting tired. Next time, I want you psychomath rookies to be refreshed and ready to rock and roll. Do you hear me? Good. Now get yourselves out of here. Y'all be giving me a headache. Professor Rocket's out. of two lost ears trying to find their place in the world. So, here we go! Hey, listen up! Uh -huh. What was that? My ear was ringing. Wanna play? Shoot! No, shoot with the first clue! Okay, what is this sound? Keep telling you, it's a bull. Next clue. What is this? Uh, Grandma doing backflips? Front flips? No, it's a lasso. Bull? No, really, it's a lasso. Next clue. What is this? <laughs> oh boy, a really bad first date? An aerobics class? Come on, use your brain. I'm an I don't have a brain. Here, one more time. I know, I know. It's a man falling off a horse. Congrats. So, where would you hear a... Followed by a... And a... Where are we? We're on the TV. No, the rodeo. The radio? No, the rodeo. Okay. For you. What's this? Again? I give up. That's a cowboy putting on tight jeans at the rodeo. Oh, so that's why they walk so funny. That concludes today's episode of Air We Are. And we are out of air. Party where the dead can party like it's 1999 and 1899 and 1790. Well, you get the idea. Anyway, at tonight's affair, we are honored to have a mysterious guest who almost cheated death. The key word being almost. We got him in the end, and we always do. <laughs> See if you can guess his identity. Sorry, sir. The door was locked. Uh, won't you please come in? 
That's strange. Getting into things has never been the problem. It's getting out of things that's the real trick. Uh, may I take your jacket, sir? <laughs> you can try. <laughs> I, I can't get it off. Y your tailor must be a madman. Funny you should say that, because it's virtually impossible to escape from with its many buckles and straps, making it ideal for insane asylums. Ta-da! I'm out of the straitjacket. That's very clever, sir. Uh, may I get you anything? Yes. How about a water chamber that I can seal and then escape from? Mm -hmm. Sorry, sir. I think we're all out of those. What about a trunk? I bet you have a trunk around here. You can put me inside and I'll mystify you with my miraculous escape. And look, sir, I'm pretty busy. I have a cold cut platter in the back and it isn't getting any younger. Well, okay. By the way, I don't think I caught your name. Oh, sure. I'm... Wait! Before you reveal your identity, let's give our viewers a chance to guess. He's a master magician who excelled at very difficult escapes, such as handcuffs, straight jackets, sealed water chambers. That's right. I'm Harry Houdini, amazing escape artist and fantastic illusionist. Stick around, big guy. I'm gonna make a 10,000 pound elephant disappear. You can be my assistant. Over your dead body. <laughs> Next time at the spooky haunted house party. Walla Washington Zoo. This week we're going to. Ah! <laughs> Eddie Bull, he's got the food. He really is incredible. He's simply the best of the bunch. There's simply no disguising that he's so appetizing that we want him for a lunch. <laughs> You'd think I learned to move when they ring that dinner bell. Sheesh! Can you help me figure out which animal just swallowed me without chewing? <laughs> Here's the first clue. This animal works the night shift and is rarely seen during the day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Their fur was once popular for making hats and coats. Yuck! That's not right. They got webbed hind feet, which helped them swim. Boy, I sure could use a couple of those around the pool. <laughs> Whoa! And here's the last clue. Their sharp front teeth and big flat tail makes this animal the best damn builder around. <laughs> That's damn. D-A-M. Have you got it yet? It's the beaver! <laughs> That's it! The beaver! <laughs> <laughs> the beaver! Uh -huh. The beaver works at night. Their thick fur looks a lot better on them than it does on people. Their webbed hind feet help them swim, and they use their front teeth and flat tails to help them build dams. Ooh, smart little critters. <laughs> no, hope I don't hit those big front teeth on the way back out. And he pulled his head to move. to read between the lines and think up the answers before time runs out. So now you know how to play, you're on your own. You got 10 seconds. Ready to go on vacation? 
Because it's spring break! <laughs> Next one. Feeling claustrophobic? Well, I am. The answer is boxed in. What's next? Did you get it? It's life on Mars. You got 10 more seconds to get the next one. Oh dear! London Bridge is falling down! <laughs> hey! Well, that's it for now, so keep your feet on the ground and your head in the clouds until it's once more time to play 10 seconds! <laughs> dark and mysterious recesses of parts unknown, there resides the strange and riddle-wise creature known only as the Riddle Snake. His music is enchanting, and his riddles are perplexing. So look close, and think even closer. The riddle is, where was King Solomon's temple? Where was King Solomon's temple? His forehead. <laughs> and as the wise man once said, foreheads are better than one. Ta ta. It's time for Crash Box Rewind, where we flash back through the show and remind you how smart you really are. They got webbed hind feet, which helped them swim. It's the beaver! He's a master magician who excelled at very difficult escapes, such as handcuffs, straight jackets, sealed water chambers. That's right. I'm Harry Houdini. You take the unlucky number 13 to add to the two nostrils in your nose and subtract the nine innings of a baseball game. And the answer is six. Six. When is getting frightened even better than a glass of water? When you've got the hiccups. A tornado is a dark funnel-shaped cloud containing violently rotating air that can develop within a heavy thunderstorm cloud and extends to the Earth. Well, that's it for now. See you next time.